Folks, welcome to Forensics Detectives. Here we are. Forensics Detectives Oxygen Scooper Analyzer <coughs> O2 box. Now, we are going to do <coughs> a sensor replacement step by step. Take the analyzer out of your little packet here. And we're going to put all this stuff on the side. Okay? Now, question usually is Dr. Cos, when do I know if the sensor is ready to be replaced? Now, we recommend replacing the um, sensor every. Oh, the battery is down here, folks. See that? That's the battery is down. Okay, not a problem. Okay, so let me get back to the point. We recommend replacing the sensor every two to three years. Okay, now when exactly must I replace it, Dr. Cos? You should be replacing it during that period. And you'll notice when you do calibrate it, let's say it's two years and two months, it's going to be very difficult for it to calibrate. Difficult meaning it's not going to hold its stability. So that's when you will know it is time to replace. Now, what am I doing? Get yourself a Phillips or cross a screwdriver and start opening up the unit. Okay, folks? So what we're going to do now is change the sensor. Okay? Unscrew all the way through. Okay? Very straightforward. And put that on the side. Now, what you'll see right over here is the sensor, which is right over here. And it's got a jack. It's got a standard universal connector. Okay, so go ahead, pop that off, and it's quite simple. This turns off. So hold that and just turn it off. Turn it all the way off. The sensor has a thread, as you could see, and it's made for this exact purpose, for this little, what we call manifold, to screw on. Now, all you do is take that off and bang. There is a little snippet over here. You're gonna just draw that down and take that out, okay? There's a little clip over there. Just gonna pop it down and it'll come out. So bang, that's how you do it, folks. That is the sensor that will be discarded. You throw that away. Now, these are uh, Envitec Honeywell sensors. We sell these, but you could buy them from other retailers. Okay, folks, these are made in Germany. Envitec Honeywell sensors fantastic sensors they have proven themselves over the many years medical oxygen sensors okay right over there folks not messing around here so let's assume this is a new sensor what we do let's put it in we come back and we put the jack in it's polarized so you won't get that mixed up not to worry then you go ahead make sure you put this little um, honeycomb inside over there just so that the air gets distributed quite well when it's coming in and funneling through turn the manifold all the way until it's finger tight and then look it's easy folks pop it in into that little guide you see the guides you see the guides there folks just pop it in nicely make sure there's no screws or nothing rattling in there it looks quite straightforward and quite nice nothing complicated we have the pcb board the connector and the sensor and we have the casing the abs case put your screws back in go finger tight Now let me get some new batteries here. Okay, we got ourselves some new batteries. Let's pop them in. All the way through. Last screw on this little battery cover here. And bang, we are done. We are done. That's basically it. The unit is there. We've replaced the sensor. We turn it on and it's Reading 20.9, that's fine. If it's not reading 20.9 and it's wavering and it's going all over the place, just bang. You've calibrated it, okay, folks? Just like that. Make sure to calibrate. All the best. Any other questions, let us know. Have a great day.